Okay, excuse the Benzitean breathing apparatus here. Uh, this is actually just got side tone on so I can hear myself so I'm not shouting and this one's recording. Uh, never mind that. Right, as a small uh, YouTube channel, very small obviously, just uh, nearly two and a half thousand subs, um, primarily focused on VR, I do surprisingly get quite a number of emails from Chinese companies wanting to send me stuff and do videos. Um, about the items they want to send and usually I just I don't really respond I just ignore them it's usually junk it's usually tat I'm not interested in now the videos I have done that you've probably seen is from VR Rock because although I don't use prescription lenses I understand that that is a uh, an actual useful bit of kit for people and I generally think that's a great thing if people can avoid using glasses that must be much more comfortable but I get a lot of the tap. Now I did get an email from a company called Zyber VR. They say they're a new VR company. And there was a few bits they wanted me to have a look at. And to be honest, again, it wasn't something I was interested in. Until they offered to send me their all-in-one uh, handle for the Quest 2. All-in-one VR handle. And uh, here it is. And basically what it allows you to do is connect them together or have longer handles for the Quest 2. Now the reason I was excited about this because it might be easy to pass by and go it's just another you know another one of the countless Quest 2 peripherals but this actually coincided with pretty much the release of uh, Kayak VR Mirage um, and if you're in PC VR and you haven't played that at least check it out it's such a beautiful game even just to sit there and relax even if you're not doing the racing part but let's just show you what you've got you've got uh instructions uh, they haven't asked me to say anything specific they just sent it and said do a video i have been using it for a while I'll put it back in the box just how it comes packaged a nice little bag zyber on it soft touch bag actually don't know what's in here uh okay new lanyards uh wrist uh lanyards uh right this is actually a pretty cool device i've got to say um it's much better than i expected it was going to be Let's get that out of the way straight from the start. And like I said, I'm not getting anything out of this. Well, I got this out of it, <laughs> but I get nothing else. Uh, there's like an affiliate link below, but it's like I get like five percent if you want to use it or not, and also a, a discount code. But that's by the by because I'll show you why this is pretty awesome and how this actually clips together is really cool. It's really cool. So these are it's like a hard rubber handle grip here, nice and comfortable. This is the right one so you get for each handle two pieces this and this and it says on there right as well and this is really cool right how this how this clips together really solid you do have to take the lanyards off your quest 2 controllers so look all you do is get this hook piece the side without the button hook it on and there's a little triangle there so you can slide it around that triangle sits up snug in there that's it, so you just put that on, put that on, like that, grab this thing, click, solid, no movement at all. And the good thing about this one, because I've got all sorts of peripherals uh, for, for VR controllers, and some of them are more awkward than others to actually use the controller. This one, you could be doing whatever you're doing, tennis, Beat Saber, it doesn't matter what, but drop it down. You've got full use of the controller. Full use of the controller. Fantastic. So let me put the other one in, just show you again. Left controller, hang it over. Bit more awkward while I'm doing it so you can see it. Slide it on. Job done. Rock solid. So you've got your two handles. Beat Sabery, whatever. But the piece de resistance is the extender. So this uh, it comes with an end cap on it. So if you're just using it on one, so you could be playing golf, you could be broadsword, broadsword, Easter egg if you know what that's from. Although it's a bad impression. Uh, but you can take this off. I don't. That just sits in the box. I'm bothered with that. Even if I'm just using all this, I don't need the M plug on it. Voila! Twist them together. Fantastic. So you got your Darth Maul Beat Saber job. 
but more importantly, <laughs> get your kayak VR rowing. Um, yeah, whatever else that might be useful for. Uh, so yeah, all pretty awesome. Now I've got to say, it is it is sturdy. It is <laughs> surprisingly solid. The thing is all rigid. There's no movement at all. Uh, as I say, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now it's not cheap. It's uh, sixty bucks. I think at the moment it's fifty-five dollars US. So what's that? Uh, something around fifty quid or so. Uh, but shipping to the US and EU is free. They do ship elsewhere, but it's free to the US and EU. Um, and if you use the code, you get another five percent off. But um, so you know, it's a lot of money, but it is well made. It is really sturdy, and I've, <laughs> I've been using it quite a lot. Um, and just for ease of use, I have got, I have pretty printed. You know the 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 table to the sort of is it San Lackey or whatever table tennis racket holder. But you know, I've just sort of reverted to using this in the end, just because. It's easy, and I've got a golf one I've printed for an actual golf thing, but I've just been using it. It's just simple, but mainly for kayak VR, it's awesome. Although there's lots of ways you can get around that if you want, with a stick and a bit of duct tape. But yeah, it is pretty cool. It's not perfect. If I was to pick a few things from it, I'd say it doesn't always line up. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. But it might be some games where it it wants the the tracking rings lined up perfectly. Um, doesn't it's just like it's not a problem in kayak VR, or I suppose in Beat Saber. I don't know, but something to point out if you know if that's an issue anywhere. Um, the I'm not sure if there's any adhesive. It is possible to twist the rubber grip. Again, it doesn't really matter. Be a little bit of adhesive in there would have been nice. Um, so no real gripes. I tell you what, I wish. Considering how much, how cheap it probably is to make one piece of these, I wish it came with two of these, right? Just two of them. Not only could you have two long grips if you wanted, but more importantly, it would be nice to have my hands further apart for, uh, you know, kayaking and stuff. But that's about it. Now they do sell another version, which is about half price. And what it is, is you just get the two of these pieces, you don't get the middle piece, and it's made from a different material. This is all the same, this is the same awesome, this is fantastic, this really is fantastic, this whole clip system. And how you've got full use of the controller. Um, but the cheaper one comes with like a, a, a foam grip, instead of this hard rubber, and just doesn't have this middle piece. But that's about half price. So look, that's about it really. Um, nothing more to it, it is what it is. Uh, any questions or comments drop below and always try and answer um, but yeah so my my final conclusion really is this is an awesome product you know it's 50 odd quid you've got to be up to you if you're playing the games if you're playing games that are going to make use of this then it could well be worth it if it's just a dabble every now and then probably not but um, I've been using it for kayaking for table tennis for golf Beat Saber um, and some Blades and Sorcery pretty awesome so yeah anyway so that'll do it for now and I'll catch you later cheers